or gesture. Many from Canada, I think they haven't attended before too. So um, it's beautiful uh, as Brother Manoj also said that the happiness, the comfort you start to feel, that means there is a spiritual listening um, tool is flowing between all of us. So um, I heard many sharings, but what is that? I think we are practicing here is that how can I be loveful and silent, not judgmental, um, not bored, not like Aruna sister said uh, somewhere else. I'm attentive um, and uh, understanding the other person's perspective, not imposing my perspective. That means I'm not being judgmental is important. That's what exactly we're trying to practice here. And um, 10 minutes, energy is not drained. Because there is a, um, a new energy, happiness, enthusiasm. Because here we are meeting from, we, we didn't meet before. In this connection, relationship, there is no expectations. But when we come to those relationships, there is expectations. And this listening becomes truly difficult or draining. So this practice that we are doing, we should be so thankful to each other here sitting in a spiritual environment and with so much loving energy we are exchanging, we are practicing that, that we can take to our practical life. Listening is a very powerful tool. And um, like Brother Manoj mentioned too, we have in all like peaceful listening, compassionate listening, loveful listening, having that respectful feeling for others um, and having non-judgmental heart and trying to understand their perspective enjoying, you know, can you experience when somebody's sharing their joy? Am I experiencing that joy? Or am I thinking in my way, that story? Or my mind is going somewhere else? So it is about that. So very quickly, this- uh, Sister, we have uh, Ram's iPhone, they've raised their hands. Right. Um, you have any question, Ram brother? Uh, no. Om Shanti, sister, I just want Om to thank with for speaking on our behalf of all of us. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. We all are here to thank each other. Um, it's powerful experience that we are sharing with each other with this um, exercises. So truly thankful to all of you and of course the Supreme Soul. So the second part of this lawful listening is uh, let's experience now. Let's put aside the storytelling, listening, but right now, can we become the giver and receiver of spiritual love? Spiritual love, right? That is pure love for the soul to soul, as we say. So how can we do that? So uh, for that, sit in silence is the first part. We'll all do that right now. And we'll divide into two groups. Whoever are here, let's say from alphabet A to M, are group one. Whoever are here, if your name is, uh, the first name starting with the alphabet between A and M, you belong to group one. And um, the uh, people uh, with uh, names starting uh, with N to Z belong to group two. Is it clear? You know who are group one and group two? And I will also request all of you to open gallery view, click on gallery view, and whoever can switch on their video. So we like to, you know, of course, see the energy flowing, right? Feel the energy flowing. So group one is, will play the role of a giver, would give check in a spiritual love to the group two people. It's not about seeing whom you are giving, you will generate that spiritual love that will flow from you. And group two will be receiver, will just receive the love. So what is that we have to do? Group one, as a giver, have to generate the love. And that is, you know, positive, loveful thoughts. You can think of the people you were listening to or just create for whomever is coming in, in the screen, right? You're thinking of them and creating loveful, positive thoughts and hold on to that feeling of calm and love within you, you can connect with something greater, such as the divine, the source of spiritual love. Is it easy? Good? It's clear? And then group two, 
as a receiver, what do you have to do? Just sit calmly and silently and try to be open and receive as it showers on you. So we'll do that. Actually, time. Maybe just one minute, whole one minute I'll give. First of all, has everybody opened their gallery view? Click on gallery view and open your video. Can you see everyone in front of you? I'll stop this sharing so that you can see it. Okay. And now you know you are group one or group two, right? Now generate the love and receive the love. Group one, group two, one minute. And then we'll group one, group one will be again receiver. Group two will create. Here. Okay. Okay. I think. I'll go with silence for one minute to start. Time starts now. Group one, create a spiritual love that's flowing powerfully from your being, your heart. All your thinking and feeling is love, a spiritual love that showers on you from the divine. Feel that and see it flowing from you to the people sitting in front of you on the screen who are in the group too. Simply sitting and feeling that spiritual loving energy showering on them. The group too. Open your being, your heart, and receive it. Group one is flowing with spiritual love. Two is just receiving simply pure spiritual love. This is how we exchange love. And both groups are feeling the happiness, right? That's what love does. You give or you receive fills you up with happiness, joy. Now for another one minute, let's switch the role. So group two will now create the spiritual love, connect with that divine, the source of pure spiritual love. Feel that peace, love, non-judgmental, unconditional, just you, a loveful being, flowing with love. And group one is receiving. That's it. Feel the shower of spiritual love. Okay, so Om Shanti. So let's uh, take this with us. This is how we listen lovefully to each other. That was a beautiful um, session. And thank you, Manoj Bhai, for very uh, detailedly you took us through. And uh, we did a good discussion here itself and uh, felt that loveful listening activity. Thank, thank you, you Sister Anu. Apologies for overriding on the time. No worries. So uh, let us just move well. on. Yeah, so we'll just move on to the next activity. Uh, so see, uh, in our modules, uh, Shivani Ben, you can just stop sharing the screen for a minute. I have to, I'll do that myself. Yeah, thank you.
So, uh, see, uh, when we do these values workshop, we're highly in a positive frame of mind. We are meditating, visualizing. So we are doing very good things. Now, from the next activity, I'll be taking you into a very different mode. So pardon me for that. Don't tell me why I'll have taken us into that mode. It's important that we know what are our negative emotions which we have inside. And many of us still have them. It's not about I'm being judgmental that you have it or I don't have it. All of us have it. I'm not going into that aspect. But unless and until we churn on them, we go and touch those aspects which are still there inside me negative. We won't be able to get rid of them. So we need to realize them, acknowledge them that I still have them. So I'll just share my screen right now. Uh, and uh, we'll go further with two very bad negative emotions in our life. I'm sure the screen is showing you jealousy and hatred. So uh, what are these? Are these emotions or they are feelings? So let me just uh, quickly tell you what is the difference between an emotion and a feeling. See, feeling is something like an internal thing which I experience as a person. An emotion is something which I show externally. So when I am jealous, jealous is actually a feeling inside. It is something inside other people can't see. But when because of jealousy, I'm creating hatred. And when I show my hate towards someone else, then that becomes an emotion which I'm showing. So emotion, the word also is quite beautiful. E motion. E means energy. My energy is in motion, which means my energy otherwise is supposed to be still and calm. But when it is emotion, it's basically a disturbance inside and hatred is a disturbance. So both jealousy, jo jealousy is a feeling. It can be seen from my face. So it is also a bad emotion. But hatred is another horrible emotion, which I usually uh, show out. And usually hatred stems from jealousy. Why do I hate people? Because I feel uh, I, I'm jealous of them. And why am I jealous? Because I have my underlying belief systems. I'll come to that belief system shortly. So what we'll be doing in this activity is think of a situation at workplace or home. People who are professionals, working professionals, obviously have workplace, but there are quite a few retired people also at just at home. So think of some situations wherein you felt jealous of that person for some reason. Obviously, it will be your close one because you're at home living with them or it, at your workplace, it could be your colleagues. So think of such a situation. And now what I'm trying to tell you is relive that moment wherein you didn't really like the person and the situation and created hate towards them. I would just request the people, I'm getting some disturbance from somewhere. So if you can just all of y'all uh, just be careful and mute yourself because it is disturbing others as well. So try to relive that moment and try to get out those negative emotions and feelings which you have gone through. And try to get that person in front of your conscious layer of mind for whom you created that hate. So do that. Not a very good thing to do, I know, but uh, you'll be saying that, oh, you're making us more negative. But let us just become a bit more negative. Get that person in your mind so that we can heal it. So I'm sure you have uh, got it in your mind, that situation, that person, that entire big vicious cycle of jealousy and hatred. Now what I want you all to do is next. I want to explore this. Both these emotions need to be healed. So for them, I need to explore them first. So four important questions. What are the reasons I created jealousy? Enumerate them in your worksheet. Second is, Thinking of that now, that situation right now and that person right now, what feelings do you experience toward that person right now as well? If you still have those feelings of jealousy. Along with those feelings of jealousy, what other negative emotions, 
because one negative emotion as one positive emotion attracts others similarly one negative emotion of say jealousy it attracts other negative emotions i've mentioned it in front of you hatred resentment there could be many others as well what else what are the other negative emotions which you created for that person that time please enumerate them and write them down in your worksheet and lastly very important this is the fourth question but it's very important can you explore a few belief systems or thoughts which made you experience jealousy and hatred so i'll just give you a small example here that i'm i'm a doctor jyoti is also a doctor sunita is a doctor pushpa mala is a senior doctor so i'm just considering our medical profession right now so if i have this underlying belief system that life is a competition you know this is a belief system which all of us create there can be such n number of belief systems so if i create this underlying belief system which is my thought process and i must say this is a preconceived notion because many people feel that yes life is a competition life is a battle life is about winning and losing so if i have that in my mind if i see my colleague is going further ahead of me he's got more patience than me he is more successful then what do i feel i feel jealous so uh, i in this simple uh, example i just gave you what are the reasons of creating jealousy and also i told you what is the underlying belief system which is creating this uh, jealousy so the belief system is this. so explore such few belief systems as i have just given you one example so you need to explore for yourself same thing can be applied to your home settings whereby your work your uh, your you as a daughter in law and a mother in law relationship or it could be even a husband and wife or it could be siblings together where can there can be a lot of competition and as a parent uh what you can do is you can also induce that competition in the siblings that uh, my this child is like that but other child is not like that so it can be uh, translated to any relationship and at any level either in your professional space or even at your personal space in your home so explore on this take a bit of time uh, next 3 4 minutes you work on that and then we'll take sharings from your side okay i'll give you another 4 5 minutes and then we'll start sharings Yes, so welcome back. A lot of jealousy, hatred inside. I have induced asked you all to do that. 
so that we can try to get rid of those two negative emotions. So let's start with the sharing and uh, I would request Shivani's sister can go ahead and take the uh, sharing from them. Uh, I mean, uh, you can put the PPT slide on that. So let me just start. Uh, thank you, Sister Shivani. So let me just start with who wants to speak. Brother DK Patel wants to say something about uh, this or... Uh, Okay, uh, okay, Arti Bishnoi, go ahead, Arti, you have raised the hand, yeah. Yeah, uh, for the first Aap point. Aap Hindi mein bol sakte ho, no problem, yeah, go ahead, yeah. Maine likha to English mein hai. Okay, no problem, whatever suits you, yeah, okay. Jo aapne pehla point bola tha, usme, because I got that situation, jo pehla question tha apka. And yeah. second question mein, maine likha hai. I feel compassionate and still choose to have lively relations. So what are the pehla question ka answer kya hai? Reasons kya hai? Jealousy kyun create kya? Kya karan tha? Reason? Reason uh, because jaysay can experience with my physical eyes. Not very clear for this but always I used to spread love. In fact, if someone shows anger, I call back them and I, that was not able to got positive response but once i joined with the baba everything has changed but still tightness i can't express it very properly like this in this matlab uh, meko personally agar koi karega then i can okay share. so aapka matlab kaun sa belief problem. system ya yeah, anything else which you feel ki aapne jealousy yes, hatred uh, one belief. one wo baad mein hua pehle nahi tha जैसे कि सोसाइटी से रिलेट करके आई थिंक सोशल बिलीव्स जो होते हैं उससे मैं लिंक करती हूं मैं रिलेट करती हूं सोसाइटी सो व्हाट सोशल बिलीव्स डू यू हैव डू यू वांट टू इलैबोरेट ऑन देम नो प्रॉब्लम ओके सो समथिंग सो सम कम्युनिटी कोई एक एरिया कोई लोकेलिटी हर कम्युनिटी की अपनी अपनी कल्चर्स होते हैं अपने uh okay dharani wants to share or preeta you'll have joined new i can see any even shobha deshpande any of y'all shobha preeta or dharani okay uh yeah who's speaking okay do you do you want me to speak yeah preeta you can go ahead i think it's preeta speaking right yeah i'm preeta yeah. Yeah, go ahead, Preeta. Yeah, speak about jealousy and hatred. The worksheet questions. Yeah, I don't remember your questions, but uh, okay. normally I'm not jealous. But sometimes I feel I feel jealous of people who are doing uh, well, but uh, they haven't actually uh, done something great to achieve that. Okay. You know that maybe that's hatred also. Right, so um, you feel that those people are given more credit and they just get some success, yeah, but they haven't yeah. done anything, right? So, what yeah, is the underlying yeah. belief system? Do you want to explore the belief system? What belief system? Uh, from what belief system is this thought coming out? Uh, the belief system is that uh, uh, as we sow, so shall we reap. Uh, that doesn't apply here sometimes, you know. Okay. Um, I, I'm uh, my input is more, and their input hasn't been that great. Or maybe their input has been something. Uh, what do you say? It's. They say Hindi me kete na dikhavti. Okay. Ha. Uh, right. so double standard people. They're doing, but uh, they really don't mean to do uh, something really good. But they are getting love, and I'm not getting love. Right. So uh, uh, maybe not, system, you can write down the. Yeah, the belief system here is that people have double standards. So if you can just write down, so it's a good one. Yeah. Preeta yeah. sister, sorry, Preeta sister, correct? Oh, uh, sister. Yeah, I'm a sister. Yeah, my 
I have a bad throat otherwise. Yeah, yeah, no problem. I just wanted to confirm that. Sorry, because I don't want to mix things. Yeah, so thank you. It's a beautiful belief system that people have double standards. They don't receive. I mean, I, I do something and I don't receive credit, but these people receive. Unko mil jata hai. Jaldi mujhe nahi mil raha hai. So inhone kia kya waya they successful. So very very nice belief system you got it out. So I want these negative things to come out. Good. Then anyone else wants to share? Elder Bell, you're unmuted. You want to say something? Um, yeah, I'm thinking yeah, about yeah, what reasons uh, reasons to feel jealous. Um, it is insecurity and um, yeah, feeling insecure and what feelings I can experience towards the person who causes jealousy on me is feeling angry and and resentment. And the belief system is, uh, feeling unhappy um, about myself uh, creates insecurity and that leads to feelings of jealous. Right. Great. So beautiful sharing. So I like your sharings. Thank you. And mm -hmm. Ashwini has written in Hindi. I'll just translate that in English. He's saying that we expect something from people. We tell them to do something and then they don't do something. So, and then we feel hurt and then we feel uh, even jealousy for them. Actually, that's more of a feeling of hurt. So it is like uh, expect, expectations from people, too many expectations from people, which leads to feeling of hurt. Next, Aruna is mentioning when you want or love something, but you're not getting that, but someone mm -hmm. else is getting it. So beautiful. So again, this also is a different way of saying expectations, right? Expecting from people when you want something from them, but you're not getting that from them. Right. Good. So I think uh, you all have touched a few very uh, important belief systems and these usually don't come out in workshops. So we want you all to come out with those. So if your sharings are over, uh, let me just move on to uh, uh, how do you want to heal these? So first of all, before I give it on to, uh, I think, Anu sister for the next meditation session, uh, do you feel that all these emotions are necessary? I don't think so, because we undergo all these emotions. Basically, emotions actually are absolutely unnecessary. But sometimes people divide them into positive emotions and negative emotions. Let me tell you, technically, emotion, when your energy is in motion, you are disturbed. So disturbance is not a good energy, actually. So emotions usually is something always negative. So all these are actually unnecessary emotions, which over a period of time, I have actually, it's a part of my belief system. I'll just cover this one belief system, which Preeta said. Uh, she said that uh, people have double standards and why are they getting this credit? When I am doing, I don't get this credit. So we just have to understand another karmic philosophy that there is something very deep karmic over here that those people who are getting success is because they have done something in their past and therefore they are getting success. I am being jealous towards them. That is my weakness. That is my negative emotion towards them. But they are absolutely getting everything what they have done. And everything is fair in life. If you remember this belief system, which I think we should be latching onto that everything is fair in life. People say everything is fair in love and war. But I would just say that everything is whatever someone is achieving or not achieving is everything fair. And it is something to do with the person's past karmic accounts. So uh, I just wanted to drive this thing over here that uh, now we know that these are all unnecessary emotions. And can we apply a full stop to these emotions? There is only one full stop which we can. And this is by understanding the karmic theory in detail. That the which we also come to know in Murli's, which Baba says, I also take the liberty of saying Baba, the Supreme Being tells us that whatever happening in life with yourself and with others is absolutely accurate. The drama, the world life drama is absolutely perfect and accurate. And you just can't even change a little bit of it. So whatever you and me are getting in this life or in the past life is something related to our past karmas. So we don't need to actually worry about at all that what is happening to others. And something happening with me also is something to do with me. So I have to work on that. So once I realize that these negative emotions are born out from wrong belief systems and I'm ready to work on those belief systems, then only we can go ahead and heal ourselves with that loveful compassion. So with this brief uh, thing about jealousy and hatred, let's move on to Anu's 
Can I ask one question, Dr. Manoj, please? Yeah, uh, go ahead. I think it's Vikas Bhai speaking, right? Yeah, go ahead. Yes, yes. Uh, just one question. Okay, we say that we are uh, suffering in the present birth because of our past karmas. But uh, I find it one thing very difficult to accept and digest. And please help me in doing that. That I am do not doing bad karmas now. Uh, and other people who, who are doing very bad karmas, they are uh, leading a good life, uh, very satisfied life. So uh, how I, I am not able to convince myself by the karma theory that the old karmas uh, uh, can lead to the problems in the present. Uh, th that's a difficulty I'm f f uh, finding to make uh, my mind accept that thing. If you can help in that, please. Actually, yeah, uh, you know, we are running short of time. Your question is very perfect and appropriate for this point of time. But your question also has the answer in it. Just to tell you, I'll just take one or two minutes, Anu, sister. Yes, Sorry yes for there that. is time, Manoj Bhai. We had some extra time at the end. So please, yeah. please. So, uh, Vikas Bhai, just to tell you that, uh, you know, in these workshops, we don't want to be in the preaching mode, but your question has invited a bit of uh, explanation from my side. So I'll just complete that and then we can go ahead. This may be the question for quite a few people as well. Your question, you said that some people are being good to you and some people are not being good to you. Some people are getting success, some are not getting success. So the very fact that we don't know about ourselves and about our previous experiences, it's all related to deep karma theory because I have done something bad. You know, uh, let me give you an example of uh, a simple example of a tree and a fruit. So if I uh, put the seed of, say, uh, a mango tree, the fruit will only come after say of couple of years, five years, six years, or maybe even more than that. Then if I see the coconut tree, it will take another 10, 15 years. But if I just put some uh, jungly weeds, weeds just come out anytime. So when we do something in our life, it applies to karma theory also this thing. If I do something negative, maybe in the past birth, for example, that may not immediately give you a fruit. It may happen after a few births when you take. So it's very difficult to know at this point of time that what karma am I reaping? The fruit which I'm reaping, is it of something which I've done in the past? So here, therefore, in our spiritual teachings here, the Supreme Divine teaches us that you don't have to go in the depths of which karma you have done or which action you have done and you're getting the fruit of that. You just have to apply a full stop to your racing mind. You're racing. Otherwise, you'll always constantly keep racing your mind and you'll never be at peace. So our main aim in spirituality here is to make your mind calm. That yes, everything is just and fair. And here it confirms even the Newton's third law, which is every action has an equal and opposite reaction. It can never happen that something negative is happening with me in this lifetime. I am a highly positive person. How something negative is happening to me because I have done something in my past. So there is absolutely uh, no need to go in the depths of any of my karmic account. Just apply a full stop to your racing mind. This belief system has to be changed that life is a perfect accurate drama and everything happening is in life is absolutely perfect for me and accurate at that point of time so once i apply this belief system i think my racing mind will get a full stop immediately and then i can deal with situations in life further with much more ease and then hatred jealousy will be absolutely not a part of life anymore then right thank you very much dr manoj thank you thank you thanks vikas bhai so over to uh, Anu sister for the meditation. Thanks. Thank you, Manoj Bhai. That was really very really deep discussion and that is, this exists in our life. We can't just avoid it or not understand it accurately. Then we cannot heal. If we understand, we can heal. Um, and uh, in the karma, that's very nicely explained by Brother Manoj. And uh, we have to think um, now, if people are doing bad karma, they're still earning the bad consequence that will come, that will come because like every seeding will uh, bear fruit. And um, we must not miss that part, that my action must be always accurate Then I'm assuring good fruit for myself. And it is very deep discussion. Maybe we'll go, you know, you can talk later again uh, more deeply, but um, Today, if I'm doing bad action and I'm still happy, it's the happiness is coming from my past karma. And right now, whatever negative karma I'm doing, 
it will come my way in the future. So we have to be just to be caring for our own actions. And like Brother Manoj said, stop, full stop and calm yourself down. So we have to get rid of all these negative emotions that also I like so much, uh, energy in motion. What energy I want to vibrate, radiate from me will come back to me. So let's heal anything that's negative within us. So for that, we'll go through this meditation process. It's called healing through loveful compassion. And that is for the self. Nobody else can heal me if I don't heal myself. And we all know there is a source constantly showering that love. So we can go to straight to the source, take and heal ourselves. So sit comfortably, all of you, and just see yourself taking the healing energy and healing that energy of jealousy and hatred. Everyone in silence, relax your body as you sit upright. Let your hands be relaxed and loose on your laps and feet on the floor, relax. So you are sitting comfortably on your chair. And focus on your breathing. You feel a relaxed and gentle rhythm of your breathing. Sitting comfortably and breathing is relaxed. Now, allow your breathing to slow down. So as the breathing has slowed down, settle into that gentle rhythm. Gently breathing in and breathing out. Feel the calmness with the calm, gentle rhythm of your breathing. So breathing in and breathing out. As you feel the calmness with yourself, just sitting with yourself. Now, in your mind, bring that situation in front of you where you felt jealous of another person or any situation that was discomforting, negative experience. Bring the person who was involved in that situation. want to heal that negative energy going from you to that person or situation. 
you say to the sea. I am a peaceful being. Peace and love are my original nature. I am simply a tiny point of light, concentrated energy that is full of peace and love. I, the peaceful and loveful spiritual energy, radiate rays of peace and love everywhere around me. I see only me, the sparkling, tiny source, of peaceful and loveful energy radiating out of me. And now, visualize another beautiful sparkling point of light, the Supreme Being is shining with his infinite source of peace and love. From that infinite source, peace and love. Love showers upon me unconditionally. Now I'm connected with that source and the source so lovingly filling me up with compassion, love, and mental. The infinite source of love that the Supreme fills me up with total comfort. All negative traces of energy dissolves. I am fully filled that positive, loving, pure energy of the Supreme Soul. I have now been transformed into a contented and happy being who is full of love and acceptance for everyone. The jealousy within me is transformed into unconditional acceptance. And the hatred is transformed into unconditional love. I am radiating the unconditional acceptance and unconditional love. All the negative energies of jealousy and hatred have completely dissolved out of my consciousness. I am filled from the Supreme Soul with that pure, unconditional acceptance. I fully realize I'm not in competition with anyone. I am fully enjoying the beautiful journey of my life. I am content and satisfied with my achievements. I respect the other person. 
and for everyone for their achievement, for their life, their achievements are the result of their effort and I don't need to compare my life with anyone else's. Everyone is a unique being in their own independent journey with their own efforts. I release them. I see me so filled with that unconditional accept of the soul of pure love. It's such a beautiful feeling to be myself and accept myself as I am. I do not criticize anyone. For I know that on this world stage, each one of us is playing their part perfectly right. No one is ahead of me or behind me. Each one is just perfectly right in the place where they are supposed. And I have no regret or hatred of any kind. The slate of my mind is now clean and clear with no trace of negativity in the form of jealousy and hate. I have now healed myself with the energy of the Supreme Being. I feel so happy and full of love and compassion for the self and for others, for everyone around me. I feel light and so very well cared for now. with yourself just for a few more moments, feeling the calm and that total inner peace, full of compassion. You are loved immensely by the Supreme Being. You are whole in yourself. Feel the breathing is holding all this love, peace. slowly at your own time come back to this room open your eyes leave your feet on the ground like a feel the love that is everywhere going in your being
Om Shanti, everyone. I hope you enjoyed it. You felt the loving energy that you are and feeling good. Thank you very much. With this, we'll move forward. The last exercise. I pass it over to Sitish. Thank you, Sister Anu. I think that was a really beautiful reflection and meditation. And I'm hoping that by now we're all feeling healed, feeling full and whole, right? There's a feeling of fullness and wholeness and contentment and completeness, at least in this moment after that reflection. You know, so let's take this feeling a step forward. Okay, now that we are full and we are feeling healed and there's so much of love that we've been able to gather from that one source, are we in a position to give it out to others or to ourselves? So let's explore that. And I'm fully aware that we only have about 10 more minutes to go. So let's go uh, ahead in this journey. Gifts for someone you love. For this particular exercise, you will need a piece of paper or a worksheet or something. And I'm assuming we already have that with us. We'll start with reflecting on an act or a gesture that has nourished me, myself. You know, somebody has done some act or a gesture to me, with me, that has really felt me uh, really left me feeling nourished, you know. Maybe they've said something or done something and I felt very nice, I felt cherished, I felt appreciated and nurtured by that gesture, that act or that comment. So let's go back and reflect on that. Okay. And while we are reflecting, let's try and give that gesture to ourselves, the gifts for someone we love. So we are also supposed to love ourselves, right? We keep giving love or affection to others, but we also need to love ourselves. So first love for ourselves, and let's give ourselves a gesture or an act or a statement as a gift today, right? So I would request you to write on a notepad that love, loveful gift that you would like to receive from someone, you know, that statement or that comment or an act or a gesture. What would you like someone to do for you that would make you feel loved? You know, you may want to write it as a positive statement. For example, somebody says, you know, your smile lightens up the room, or you are always so kind, or you bring so much positivity. I'm just giving you hints that, uh, but you have to find your own, right? What is it that makes you special that you want someone to give you that positive comment, appreciate something about you, do an act or a gesture? Or you may also want to write it as, I love myself. And it's okay to love yourself. I love myself because I am. And you need to fill that blank. Or I do. And you need to fill that blank. You might want to mention qualities about yourself. Like you're a beautiful person. You're a beautiful soul. So just take some time maximum one or two comments that you want to write for yourself, write them down, not in the chat box right now, but on a piece of paper. I'll give you some time to reflect back. And let me just share my screen. Those one or two statements that we want to comment. Yeah, and let's reflect.
this is your time to gift that statement to yourself just write that down on a piece of paper Make yourself full of love and love yourself and write that down. I love myself because and you make want to complete that statement. Nourish and nurture yourself. Okay. I'm assuming by now we've all been able to write one or two comments or statements. Right? Let's move forward. We don't need to yet comment on the chat box. Okay. I will stop sharing my screen in a minute. What I would request you to do is get onto the gallery view on the top right corner and also switch on of your videos because this is our last exercise. So it will be always good to switch on the video and have a look at each other. I'll stop sharing. And let's have a look at each other. Thank you, Anu sister. Thank you, Dr. Sunita. With the sister Aruna, Dr. Aruna, Preeta sister, nice to see you. Dr. Arti, Rachna, Neeraj. Such beautiful faces coming onto the screen. Anybody else who would want to show themselves? Okay, great. Lovely. So what we need to do is, I'm assuming we've all written something that we would like to receive as an act, as a gesture, as a comment from someone, right? Which will make us feel nourished. So here's what we need to do. As we said that receiving love is giving it first. So I would request each one of you to identify one person from this group whom you see on, on, on videos right now or even not on video. Just identify that one person and in the chat box, write their names, and along with that, write the statement that you would want to give yourself gifted to them. For example, if I want to pick up Sister Preeta, for example, and I say, Sister Preeta, whenever you come in the room, you bring happiness for everyone. You know, that's my comment for you. That's my gift for you. So similarly, in the chat box, each of you, you know, Mention the name of the person you choose and the comment that you would want to receive. Gift it to them. Give it away. Make them feeling, feel loved. Appreciate them. Who wants to go? The chat box is open. Please go ahead. You guys can comment on the chat box. Take the names of that one person. 
Okay, Manoj Bhai, thank you. So he's saying, Neeraj, you are such a contented and compassionate soul. Beautiful. So Neeraj, that's a gift for you to take from this workshop. From Manoj Bhai. Thank you, Manoj Bhai. Subhash Bhai is saying, Sister Anu, but Subhash, Subhash brother, you need to mention what you want to give to Sister Anu also. Oh, uh, Sister Aruna is saying you're a very kind and nice Sister Vidhi. Sister Vidhi, that's your gift from Sister Aruna. Subhash, okay, Subhash brother is saying, Sister Anu, you're so close to heart. So that's for you, Sister Anu. Uh, Sister Prita has given it back to me. Sister Shivani, you always inspire me. Thank you so much, Sister Prita. And uh, Brother Neeraj is thanking Manoj Bhai. So Manoj Bhai, gift for you too. Loveful Thank thanks. You. Okay, so Dharin need. Okay, they're saying, Sister Aruna, you bring gift of truth and honesty. Thank you. All the best. So many gifts for you, Sister Aruna, to take back. Aarti sister says, okay, Anu sister saying, Rachna, you are very gentle and loving always. Sister Rachna, that's, that, that's your gift to take away. Aarti sister says, my father-in-law, I thank for everything he has provided for loving, gratu living gratitude. I am not able to express. So she has picked up somebody who's not here, but that's a gift for them. And I'm sure they're receiving it right now, wherever they are, Sister Aarti. Vidhi sister says, Dharni sister, you're a caring and a happy soul. That's for you, Dharni sister. And Neeraj brother is also giving it back to Manoj bhai. Manoj bhai, you are a source of inspiration. And uh, Sister Albel also says, Brother Manoj, you're a very gentle soul. Beautiful. Brother Ashwini also is giving a gift to Manoj, uh, the Brother Manoj, Bra Manoj Bhaiya. Very helpful and pure soul. <laughs> so, so Manoj, brother, you have so many gifts today to take back. Precious Thank gifts. I Vijay Bhai, uh, Vijay Bhai uh, says. Sorry, uh, Shivani sister, people have just started writing for me. I mean, just don't read them anymore. Read the other ones. Those are important. <laughs> yeah. So Vijay Bhai says, uh, you each and everyone is a wonderful, wonderful and loveful. So he's given it to all of us. Thank you so much. Neeraj Bhai also says, Sister Anu, you have a very soothing voice. That, that's very true, Sister Anu. I also believe that. So Swati sister is giving it to Vijay Bhai, full of enthusiasm and excitement. I also give that gift to you, Vijay Bhai. So that's from all of us. Um, okay, Galaxy. Um, you will have to put a name next time. But Galaxy is saying it to all souls, my acceptance and love. So she, he or she is so full of love that they have it for everybody. So they're gifting it for everybody. That's our return gift from the workshop today. All of you for Vihasa. So I think we are all, all of us have got our gifts. Anybody who's left, great. So I think that was a beautiful exercise. Thank you all for participating. Um, yeah, so over to you, Anu Sister, for a quick video and some announcements if you have. Thank you yeah. so much. Thank you so much, Shivani Sister. Uh, at this juncture, in continuity with this activity, what I would want you all to do is, I'm sure all of you have your numbers, each other. You all can message those loveful gifts to each other also on your WhatsApp. I'm sure you are there. You're on a group called Online Vihasa Angels, so we can put you on that. So if there are some new people today as well who are not on that group, if you all can please kindly write down your numbers, WhatsApp number and email address, we can get in touch with you. You can just select to everyone and uh, just send it there so that uh, we can copy it in, and send it to you all. So uh, thank you so much. Uh, Anu sister, I'll just go ahead with the announcements if you don't yeah. have anything. Yeah, okay. Thanks. So uh, I'll just uh, share the screen. We are slightly delayed six minutes. But uh, the workshop is over, but please hang on a few more minutes. Let me just give a few announcements. We'll, we'll also take a picture, by the way, now yeah, at yeah. the end. Sure. So let me just, uh, before the picture, please, all of you, just concentrate on the remaining <laughs> five minutes of the workshop now. So uh, as you can see, today was love part two. And what we covered, we have to just take a quick recap. It's good to uh, summarize at the end what we have done so far. So we did a big activity, almost one hour activity on listening. 
in a very loveful way and i'm sure all of you enjoyed and there was a lot of sharing from all of you all which was perfect fantastic and thank you for those sharings then we went into those highly negatively charged emotions of jealousy and hatred you all also went into the depth of that we were trying to explore a few belief systems and finally we went on to karmic theory the deep philosophy of karma and we are trying to change our belief systems which will be very helpful for us to explore them and get rid of them and then anu sister took you all into the very beautiful mode through her beautiful voice into the loveful compassion all of you have beautiful experiences of that meditation and lastly shivani sister i mean uh, i mean she actually really was very bubbly chubbly in the sense all of you all could participate and then you all could come out with all the gifts for someone you love you know this is the dairy milk chocolate ad teaser which i have taken the gifts for someone you love so that's what you all did and now uh, i'm sure you all are you all are enjoying these workshops so next weekend mind well we are keeping you very very busy so we would request all of you all to please join what i'm showing you in the next slide so first thing first next week i am speaking first of india time next saturday we are going to give you this retreat of silence and the theme of this is to experience god's love so it is this true spiritual love which we all of us are talking about again and again so let us try to experience this more in depth today anu sister took you into that 15 minute meditation which you really enjoyed quite a bit but if you go into the 3 hour session i'm sure it will just work wonders for you uh, don't worry don't get scared with this 3 hours if even if you are not able to join for the entire 3 hours you can join in any point of the time starting from 9 to 12 and my main request to you is just uh, keep yourself free for those one or two hours that morning so that you can experience this true bliss the true love inside which you already have and you can just work on that more by going into silence because silence is the best instrument or it's the best way to go inside tap on those inner values which we have for vancouver there are many people thanks to vancouver people who have joined and uh, it's been almost i think uh, now around 10:30 for y'all and slightly 10:45 now so it will be friday 26 feb evening for y'all 7:30 to 10:30 pm the zoom id is in front of you and the pass code is silence and moreover don't get stressed to write it down fast we will be messaging you all shortly and emailing you also with these details so next saturday morning book yourself for this and uh, a very new thing is because we'll be having an elevated state through this retreat so the entire day will be in this beautiful uh, state of mind which is very calm and peaceful so we can experience the part 3 which is uh, love module which we are covering and the speciality of this is this is that regular uh, uh, workshops which we do one and a half hour workshops and we get uh, another senior bk sister or brother so this time we have sister shashi, shashi who is a very senior bk sister joining from london all the way and she'll be sharing her thoughts half an hour she'll be conducting the meditation also on love and we'll be discussing what brother can shared with us on 14th of feb his uh, his aspects of whatever about love he had to share we'll be sharing that as well in that piece in that workshop so please make sure the time you all note it's the first time it will be evening time for india 7:30 to 9 pm so i'm hope i'm hoping that we are leaving you all free on sunday evening but saturday evening you all can please join us for this it will be highly beneficial and we'll be concluding that will be the last part of love module the zoom id is and again front of you and the pass code is values again don't worry we'll be messaging you shortly and the last announcement would be after that saturday and coming next will be sunday the it's the time for values for life series talk the fortnightly one this time it's brother charlie with us who is the director of brahma kumaris from australia a beautiful gentle pious soul and a very deep journeyer on with different values he'll be covering on benevolence in hindi we call it kalyan or parupkar so remember he is joining us from australia and he was actually wanting us to send a recorded session but i requested him that if you can please do it live so we have to adjust the times accordingly to according to the speakers from whichever zone they are joining from so since it's australia so we have kept it a uh, morning time for india which is 10 am so normally we usually have it at 8 pm india time but this time it will be 10 am so kindly note that uh, change time for india and similar change of time is for west coast us canada it will be 8:30 pm a uh, one day prior that is 27th feb saturday so please book your these three things i'll just quickly recap so uh, next saturday morning is the retreat 
for India I'm speaking. Saturday evening would be your love part three. And Sunday morning is, 20, uh, is the Values for Life series on Benevolence by Brother Charlie Hogg. And then you are free on Sunday evening to do wherever you want to go. So with this, I would just give, be on the last slide now. You can email your queries to us at vihasaindia at gmail.com. All the episodes <clears throat> which we do here, all the workshops, all the everything is there on the Vihasa website. So please feel free to visit the website. It's www.vihasa.in. And you can feel free to WhatsApp on this number, 9960-130-234. Prefixed India code is 91. And with this, I'll just end and over to Anu's sister for the last photo and other things. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, I hope you all have noted down and uh, you will be getting info again. And I, I must not forget to thank Neeraj brother for a beautiful gift that came from you to me. So keep giving the gifts to all. And um, I think there were many new people and I know them few from uh, Vancouver, but if you haven't put your um, contact in the chat box, I would request you to put here so that I don't have to find your contact again here so that you can receive all the information of all upcoming workshops and all programs uh, connected to Values for Life series. So yes, all of us, let's take a picture. These are the moments that will stay in our heart always, but we also have a physical picture in front of us. So everybody, I'll request to open your video, please. Everyone can switch on the video. Okay, I hope. So it's good to see Gautam brother and Sunita together. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, thank you. Thank you for joining Gautam. Gautam is also uh, a doctor. He's a surgeon and uh, Sunita is a gynecologist. And I was wondering, uh, can uh, your mother-in-law is not there. I mean, your mother is, can't be seen Pushpamala. Okay, anyway. So others, what is happening? Shrungeri, Jujar, Swati, Preeta, Rekha and Pushpa. The last minute, please show your videos if you all don't mind. Uh, we want to see the soul. <laughs> yeah, okay. And Thanks. also... Neeraj yeah. brother has um, your daughter. What's yes. her name? Yeah. So, Anu, sister, you take because people will just start leaving otherwise soon. <laughs> sure, sure, sure. Okay. So, one, two, and three. Yeah. So, he's saying Sara. Sara is the name Sarah. of Neeraj's daughter. Yeah. Beautiful. Thank you for being here, Sara. Wow, people are opening up videos. There you go, Pushpa. And how about Jujar and Rekha? But we see your sparkling light, so all good. Let the love shine. Vibrate out. Thank you. One, two, and three. Thank you. I got the picture. And we'll be sending out. Sister Shivani does that wonderful job of preparing the uh, review materials, a uh, summary of whatever we discussed. So you'll be receiving that. Take a look, take this seriously. This is the best subject, most important subject that's value. Values make our life beautiful. So thank you very much for always being with us, um, being our companion, and we look forward to move with you until we imbibe all the values. Thank, thank you, you to Manoj Bhai for always thank there. You. Thanks to the divine. <laughs> Thanks Sorry. to Baba and divine, 100%. Okay then, see you soon. Bye. Take care, all of you. Lots of love. Bye.